Um, and then I do want to show you guys really quick that you do have four assessments for this week. So um, this week we're talking about compensation and employment, employee, excuse me, compensation, which means how much does an employee get paid when they are, um, when they're working, right? So nobody works for free or nobody should be working for free. Um, and because you are working for somebody, you should be compensated. And so then you're going to have to think about what does that compensation mean? How much is it um, before you take a job or before you start working at a job? So um, this week what we're doing is we're in, uh, identifying what employee benefits are. Um, we're going to be looking at the different types of income uh, deductions. And so, you know, if you are working somewhere, there are deductions that will come out, things that will come out of your check that are called deductions. Um, and how they impact how much money you actually take home. Um, and so it is important to know that information ahead of time. Um, and then we're gonna talk about forms that you'll have to fill out when you get a job. Um, and so let's start looking at the definition of benefits. What is a benefit? So the first benefit that we're gonna talk about um, is compensation. And this is um, a way that you are provided money and sometimes non-monetary value um, to an employee. Um, and so this is what you get in exchange for the services that you provide to your organization. Um, if you work 10 hours, then you will be compensated for those 10 hours. But the way that you're compensated is your is um, is going to be different, right? Are you given uh, time off? Are you given money? What is your rate of pay? Things like that. Um, and compensation is typically the biggest expense for any business um, because you have to be paid for what it is that you're doing. Um, so compensation also has a lot of different purposes. Um, it helps you to recruit employees. Um, if you're part of a business or if you are working somewhere, sometimes people will ask you like, oh, you work at this place, how much do they pay you? Um, and the reason that they're asking how much do they pay you is because they might want to work in that place. And one of the things that might attract them to work there um, is how much you get paid. Um, the other thing is it also motivates employees. So, you know, if I work at a place where I don't get paid very much, I don't want to go to work there. Um, you know, I don't want to put in extra work because you're not paying me what I'm, what I believe that I am worth. Um, and so, you know, the compensation can motivate an employee. Um, it can also be a reward. Um, so if you have an employee that's really hardworking, maybe they get paid a little bit extra Maybe they get a bonus. Um, maybe there's some way that they are rewarded for the work that they do. Um, and so that compensation can be a motivator. Um, it can be something that makes you want to do your job um, even better. Um, and so um, motivations, uh, compensation can serve as motivations and rewards as well. Um, it also increases, helps to increase, excuse me, and maintain organizational effectiveness. Um, you know, if I know that doing my job is going to get me compensation, then I'm going to do my job. And not only am I going to do my job, but I'm going to try to do it to the best of my abilities. Um, and if I'm working to the best of my abilities, then I'm more efficient, um, I'm more productive, um, and that helps my organization overall. So compensation includes things like your salary. Um, and salary is what you make regardless of how many hours you work. Not everyone is a salaried employee. Um, some people are hourly employees, which means you get paid depending on how many hours you work. 
Um, and so if you are not a salaried employee, then you are a wage employee. Um, and so your wages and your salary are considered compensation. You also have your bonuses and your financial incentives. Um, so like people that are car dealers, they work on commission. Uh, their commission is a financial incentive because they get an incentive, they get more money depending on how many vehicles they sell. Um, and so that is considered a financial incentive. Um, you also have paid vacation days and paid sick days. So, um, for example, if I work at Jack in the Box and I get sick, um, am I going to get paid while I'm sick or am I going to have to come into work sick? Um, and so those paid sick days, that's an incentive. That's a reason that I would want to work in that place because then I know that if I get sick, I still have uh, a salary coming in and I don't have to worry that I'm not going to get paid because I am sick. Um, and so that can be a big motivator as well. Health insurance. Health insurance can be a big motivator um, because we, we know that going to the doctor can be expensive. Um, and so do we want to worry about, okay, now I'm sick. And even though I'm getting paid to be home when I'm sick, um, I'm not going to go to the doctor because I don't have any insurance and insurance is expensive. So if your uh, employer pays for the insurance, that can be a big motivator as well. Um, and so you want to make sure that if that's something that's important to you, that you consider that. Um, Flexible spending accounts. So some businesses have flexible spending accounts where maybe they don't pay for your insurance, but what they do is they say, okay, we're giving you $100 a month. And when you need to, you can use that $100 a month for a dental visit, for an eye exam, for, um, you know, for whatever medical expenses you need. Um, and so instead of giving you insurance, we're giving you this account that you can use for those expenses. Um, life insurance is really an important benefit because life insurance is not necessarily for you, um, but life insurance is for the people that get left behind after something happens to you um, and you're no longer alive. Um, and so life insurance can be used to pay for funeral expenses, um, to pay for outstanding debt. Um, you know, sometimes you think about life insurance as, um, you know, the gift that you leave behind for, you know, people to go to, to school or people to do something for themselves um, that they've always wanted to do. Retirement uh, planning is also really important. And sometimes that's a form of compensation. Um, so sometimes, you know, if you're going to put in money for retirement, your um, um, where you're putting in a certain amount for your retirement and your employer is putting in a matching amount. Um, and so that could be one form of compensation. One form of compensation that's become really popular is uh, profit sharing and stock options. Um, that's something that um, if you work at Walmart is an option where you can buy Walmart stock and then you can use that as a form of compensation. So where every month part of your check goes to buying that stock and you keep that um, even if you decide to leave the corporation. Um, so wages are the compensation paid to your employees. Um, and it's the amount that the individual makes before their deductions. And this is called your gross wages. Um, and so gross wages are what you earn before money is taken out for deductions. Um, so the example there is Marcus is making $50 an hour. 
he works 34 hours in two weeks. So 15 times 34 is going to be 510. Um, wages allow an employee to receive overtime if they work more than 40 hours a week. Um, and so overtime is paid by your hourly rate times one and a half times the number of hours that you worked over. Um, so, so the example there is if somebody earns $12 an hour and they work three hours overtime, then you take 12 times one and a half times three, and that equals 54. And that's how much he earned in overtime last week. Um, commission is the amount of money that's paid to an employee after they've completed a certain task. And we talked about this, um, selling cars, selling homes, um, you know, uh, it's paid as a percentage of a sale or as a flat amount based on sales volume. Um, and this is also a form of compensation. Uh, commission allows people to earn a lot of income if there's somebody that's highly motivated, somebody that's really good at selling things, um, they'll be able to make a considerable amount of money through compensation, through commission, excuse me. Um, salary, however, is different and your salary stays the same regardless of what you do extra. Um, and so your salary is a fixed income. Um, typically paid monthly or bi-weekly. Bi-weekly means every two weeks. Um, and often it'll be expressed as an annual sum. So you'll, you know, the person will say, oh, I make this much per year. And that annual sum is their salary. Um, and so the salary is also, again, it's the gross amount. It's the amount before taxes and deductions. Um, salaried employees tend to have access to um, more benefits. Um, they also tend to have uh, vacation time uh, that is paid. Um, but if a salaried employee works overtime, they don't get paid for that additional time. Um, and so bonuses or incentives are linked to um, individuals based on their performance. Um, it's meant to motivate employees um, to exceed expectations. So um, it can also increase job satisfaction um, because you know the reason you're getting the extra money is tied to your performance and the quality of your work. Paid leave is also a really important um, compensation, and it's time that you're allowed to be away from work for holidays, for illnesses, uh, for personal matters. Um, it varies by organization. Um, so, for example, as teachers, we get 10 days of paid leave um, that every year, um, and we can actually save those days. So, like, let's say that this year I don't take any days off, then next year I would have the 10 days from this year plus 10 days from next year. Um, so, you know, it really just depends on the on the company or the business. Um, I actually spoke to somebody last week where they are not allowed to save their vacation days, their paid leave. Um, so if they don't use it in that year, then they lose it. Um, health, health, excuse me, health insurance. Um, is another important compensation. Um, it lessens the financial burdens of the individual. Um, and so some plans are obviously more cost e efficient than others. Um, and health insurance in your business can include um, you, but it can also include your family members. Um, so health insurance by law has to be offered to any employee who works at least 40 hours a week. Um, and health insurance can include things like vision, dentists, um, hospital, um, cancer treatments, all kinds of things. Um, but the type of insurance is uh, up to the employer. 
Um, and also under the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, employees, employers, excuse me, with 50 or more employees are required to offer health plans. Um, and if they don't, then they would pay extra in their taxes. Um, a health savings account is uh, allows the individual, the employee, to set aside money in a personal account to use for expenses. Um, the accounts belong to the employee. So if you leave, you take that money with you. Um, and it can be offered to employees that have high deductibles um, and it's not taxed. So that money is set aside and that money is not taxed. Um, and But that money um, sometimes will have to be used before the person can file a claim with their insurance. Um, flexible spending accounts um, allow individuals to set aside money um, and they belong again to the employer. Um, and so different from the other account that belongs to the employee, this belongs to the person that is hiring you um, and the deposits are not taxed either. Um, and so they could be used across different um, organizations. Uh, we talked about life insurance briefly, and so life insurance provides a safety net for a beneficiary. Um, it's often part of a benefits package, um, and it can be a more affordable option than trying to buy it individually. Uh, retirement plans allow employees to have income after they retire and they either fall into benefits or pension plans in which the employer contributes money um, or a contribution plan in which the employee and the employers contribute money. And you have disability insurance where part of your salary, um, you'll get part of your salary um, if you're unable to work and it can also be included as part of a benefit package Hold on, because I have to plug in my laptop really quick. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Everything is plugged in now. Um, workers' compensation is really important, and we talked about this last week when we talked about um, employee safety. Um, workmen's compensation uh, provides wage replacement and medical benefits if uh, you suffer an injury at work. Um, and so we talked about the different types of injuries that can happen at work. We talked about... Um, job-related illnesses and injuries. Um, and so typically employees are paid two thirds of their salary. Um, and this is a required benefit. So if, you know, if your employer uh, is in the United States, they are required to um, offer workman's compensation. There are very, very few exceptions to this. Uh, profit sharing we talked about briefly. And so this is a type of contribution plan in which uh, companies help employees um, uh, save up for retirement, and it gives employees a share of the profits of their company. Um, and the company can decide from year to year how much they contribute. Um, and if the company does not make a profit, it does not have to contribute to the plan. Um, so, you know, if you run into a situation where your company is not doing well for that year, um, they don't have to contribute to your plan for that year. And then the last one that we're gonna talk about today is stock options. Um, and this gives the employees the right to buy company stock um, at, a, at a specific price for a set amount of time. Um, and so these are considered part of the benefits packages. Um, and so I do wanna remind you guys that you have four assessments for this week. Um, I would start looking at those and start figuring out um, 
you know, what's going to be on the assessments. And then um, you could probably already take assessment one today. Um, and then we will meet back here on Wednesday at, uh, at one o'clock to complete the um, presentation for this week. Any questions, guys? All right, if there's no questions, folks, then you all are free to go. Bye, Jackie.